have the good fortune of being able to live what we believe, and I remember way, way back, 1976, when I arrived in Kansas and realized I had only been under that bridge a week earlier. <laughs> and suddenly I'm in Kansas and I'm thinking the zip code here is E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> And I'm being exposed to naturopathic medicine for the first time. Um, and I remember during the first year, one of the NDs they brought in was Dr. Christopher. Dr. Christopher. He was like half sideshow Barker and half Wizard of Oz. <laughs> he wasn't the little man behind the curtain. He was like a big man behind the curtain. And he spoke with such authority about the virtues of chug-a-lugging olive oil and, and, and rubbing cayenne in your eyes. And, <laughs> And colonics, which was the holy grail for Dr. Christopher. So, you know, I wanted to live what I believed, so in terms of the cayenne thing, I decided to pass on that, because I don't believe that's really going to feel good. However, the colonic thing really attracted me. And I couldn't wait, you know, for my, to get to Portland, Oregon. I still thought it was Oregon at that time. For my date with destiny to meet Mr. Clean. <laughs> Mr. Clean gets rid of impacted fecal matter in just a minute. Mr. Clean will clean your whole colon and everything that's in it. <laughs> Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. I'm a product of 60s television, what can I say? All right, so now here I am. It's like the, just the end of the summer, and I'm in my third year, and oh, I'm now I'm back in Portland, Oregon. And uh, I go down to physiotherapy for my date with Mr. Clean. And I picked a time when the things were relatively mellow at the clinic. It wasn't really the main hour, because I wanted to have as much time as I needed. Um, the student on duty at, at the physiotherapy wanted to know if I needed help, but I told her I felt this was like a personal moment for me. <laughs> And I was going to do it by myself, so, all right. It, it was a long table, you know, this type of colonic. It had like, you, you lay down on this table, and it was like you're laying down on a, a toilet. You could go there, right? And there was this tank over here, and the water flowed into the tank from outside, but it also flowed out of the tank into you. And I guess the point of the tank was you could like put all kinds of herbs and spices in there. <laughs> So you could smell your freshest and <laughs> the lie of new wing of bat. But I didn't want to venture too far the first time, so I just was kind of going with the straight stuff. And I filled up the tank and I got the I, maybe I should go like that. I got the applicator into the right place. Oh and, okay. And I'm laying back there and I turn on the water. And it's not that bad, in fact. In fact, I'm not even sure anything's going on. But I see there's some, you know, activity in the tank, so I guess something is going on. I remember, oh yeah, you want to get it up there, right? So I started massaging in circular motions. Because it's like the bell at the, at the, you know, if you can get all the way up the ascending and across the transverse and down to the descending, ding, ding. All right, so I was going to go for the big one. I thought I'd do a little test release to just to make sure, and I, I couldn't. It was an awkward position, you know. All right, but I figure I'll go when I need to go. I trust nature. And I'm filling up, uh, and then I start to feel like, yeah, I am making progress. And in fact, I think I can actually see that my stomach's getting a little round. Wow, cool. So now I'm really going for it. I'll, maybe I should release a little bit, and, uh, but I can't. It's an awkward position. All right, so. It's filling up a little more, and I start to relax into it. And, and then I look down and I think, I look like I'm three months pregnant. I mean, I, this is not, this is really coming out here. And as I watch, it's getting bigger and bigger right before my very eyes. And first I think it's cool, and then I think, what if it doesn't go back? Well, women give birth and it goes back, but. I'm not a woman. 
Maybe differences extend to the stretch of the skin and I better do a little release here. And I can't. And it's getting bigger. And I try to release and I can't. And it's getting bigger. And I'm telling you, I'm not kidding, it was out to here at this point when suddenly I got a message from my autonomic nervous system. It sounded like this. She's going to blow. But at that moment, well, my thoughts weren't of myself. I was thinking that poor naturopathic student was gonna come back and find me all over the place. So I realized, all right, we gotta cut off the flow. So I reached for the water and I couldn't reach it. My stomach had gotten so big, I couldn't reach it. I got, I get, I, I, and finally I just gotta get off this table. So I used all the resources I had. I had a big weight in the front and I threw it over the side of the table. The applicator's spraying water all over the place. I kick the door open to the colonic room. I go out in the hall in the postal building. I'm so glad I picked an off time. I found a real bathroom and then I let go. Uh, and I live to tell about it. Uh. That's absolutely true.